T and Andy here, and we're coming at you with another camping video. This one is not going to be your traditional drive into a site at a provincial park type camping, though. We're going backcountry camping for the very first time. Now, we're pretty lucky because we just upgraded all our gear to be really light and really small for our bike packing trip, which if you haven't seen, check it out up here. So in this one, we're going to walk through what bags we're taking with us and what we're packing. Now just to get an idea of what we're going to be up to, this is all of the gear that we think we're going to need to take with us. Like we mentioned, we've never actually gone backcountry camping and usually when you backcountry camp, you need to hike into your site. It can sometimes be a pretty strenuous hike. Lucky for us, we're going backcountry camping on an island and we'll be taking a boat over, so we don't need to worry too much about the weight of our packs. We just need to try and fit all of this into our bags. All right, we're backpack collectors. So this time, we're whipping out the bag for the job, which is our Osprey bags. So, I, I'm taking my trusted Talon 33 and Tia's got a new toy, so why don't you tell everyone about this? Okay, so I had to upgrade my, my backpacking bag. I didn't actually have a real backpacking bag because when I bought my last Osprey, I bought it for the purpose of taking it on an airplane, so it has a laptop sleeve. I did need... Yeah, when we were buying it, somebody said, your bag is a big tube. There's no organization. <laughs> now, I do realize that that was not going to work for me. So I did end up buying a traditional backpacking bag, lightweight with the support in the back. Now, this is an Osprey Kite 36, which means it's 36 liters. It does look quite large, um, but once we did a little bit of research and we talked to our local camping hiking store, they suggested for um, backcountry camping that you intend to pack about 10 liters for each day that you're going to be camping. So the 36 liter did actually end up being the most versatile and probably good size for us with the sizes that we have combined. Right, and also the fact that we do have a tiny bit more gear than your regular hiker for the camera, mostly the camera. The drone. Yeah, anything to do with filming. So the extra bit of space will really help us out. Plus, one thing about backpacking bags, you prefer to not pack it to the brim. It makes everything just that little bit easier to carry. The Osprey Kite 36 includes many features, such as a zippered sleeping bag compartment with a floating divider, integrated removable rain cover, a breathable airscape ridged foam back panel that has an adjustable torso length, an external reservoir sleeve for your water bladder, a zippered hip belt pockets, and only weighs 3.23 pounds. As the name suggests, the bag holds 36 liters worth of gear, making it a good mid-size bag. The Osprey Talon 33 is a little bit smaller. It has a lower inside out compression and carry straps, an external hydration sleeve for your water bladder, stretch mesh harness slash pockets, and a large stretch mesh front panel pocket. It weighs 2.07 pounds, and as that name suggests, it carries 33 liters of gear. So the first things that need to go into the bag are our sleeping systems. We have, we got these sleeping bags, which is pretty compact as it is, and, but it still takes up a good amount of space. This much of my backpack is already gone, and that's just for the sleeping system. And we still need to pack our sleeping, uh, sleeping pad, which includes our pillows and the tent so maybe i'll put this one vertical one trick when you are packing your bag keep the temples somewhere else they don't compress very well 
So I think I'm going to strap that to the outside of my backpack into one of the water bottle holders. Okay, hold up Andy. I think we need to restart this. Now, this is part of the packing process. This is why we always try and pre-pack our bags before we go anywhere. Days before we go anywhere, sometimes weeks before we go anywhere. Because look how full his bag is already. And look how much more stuff we need to pack. I think we need to start again and maybe try a different game plan. Take two. This is a little bit of a behind the scenes of what happens when we are prepping. So what did we just say to you? Look at my bag and look at her bag. It's practically full. We still need all the rest of our stuff. So below you're going to see some behind the scenes of how we go back and forth, cut things down and really show you how, what the process looks like of getting all of this stuff into the remaining space. Yeah, and uh, I can just put this in. Done, there. All right, so we've made a little bit of headway. Andy has finally put the tent. The tent. Into his bag. With my sleeping pad. And his sleeping pad. And, uh, oh, that's it. Oh, oh and, the and, and the poles. Now, on my side, I've decided to rearrange things quite a bit because I forgot that my bag has a little more functionality than Andy's does. So I have a bottom entry pouch that has a divider in between that can actually be removed if you don't want it, but I want it in here. So all of our cooking stuff is actually in here. We've got our cook set, our little stove, uh, and our, um, our cups, fuels. and our fuels. And we've also got our filter, our water filter, because there's nowhere on the island that has potable water. Potable? Potable? Potable, potable water. <laughs> uh, so we do have a filter that we're going to use to filter out the lake water and drink that and cook with that. And then I also have uh, our thermosel in here. We did buy a thermosel attachment for a propane tank, um, and that's going to help with the mosquitoes because in Ontario we've got lots of those. I right. have. Uh, sorry, just cut in there. And that was actually really, really smart of her to put things on the bottom because you put the heavier things on the bottom so they don't feel like you're weighing, they're weighing you down as much. I also have straps at the bottom of my bag that allows me to strap things on the outside. I initially tried putting my sleeping bag on here, but because our sleeping bags can really condense down, I decided that this is actually going to go in my bag and instead I might put my, my chair out here because it's a little bulkier and heavier and it'll take up a lot of space in the bag. You know what, that's actually not a bad idea. I don't have the bottom compartment, or sorry, the bottom buckles, but I do have some straps. So with some clever strapping down, perhaps I will be able to do the same. Let's try it out. All right, we're getting a little further. We've now packed basically all of the bulky items that we have, which is really, really good because that means we can fit all of the little tiny spaces and crooks and crannies with all our other things. We don't really have too much left that's, well, we have nothing left that's bulky. We really just have all of our little things, our mugs that we drink coffee out of, our headlights, some of our charging cables, and of course our food. Now, like we mentioned though, we will be taking a boat in and because this is our first backcountry camping trip, if we really, really, really can't fit everything into these backpacks, we have the option to bring another bag with us. Mm -hmm. But it does look like Tia uh, made a good decision. She was, I think she was actually thinking about this bag uh, at, at first. And with some of the luxury items I we would like to bring because we are supposed to be relaxing on this trip. I am running out of space a little bit. I think I can just get everything in when she, uh, while she has tons of extra space. Lots of extra space. I haven't even touched this top portion yet. I haven't either, but my 
my pack is uh, looking a little more full. <laughs> And that's just a little behind the scenes of what it takes for us to get ready for an adventure that we may not have done before. If you're looking at a more comprehensive guide of what to pack and how to pack it, check out our video up here where we walk through all of our items that we're taking with us as well as our final packing process. And if backcountry camping is not your thing but you want a little taste of it, Check up here, we have a glamping, web, uh, glamping video that is your complete list of camping essentials. Alright, let's go on our next adventure!